Hello, nieces and nephews. No, it's, it's me, Pepper. <laughs> Just happen to have the same shirt as Uncle Roger. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing today, and I have the TT Racing chair. So it's supposedly the best value chair uh, that money can buy. The, I mean, the good uh, un under the good quality brand. And this is a local brand, so I'm quite happy to support it. It's local, but it's got some really good reviews. It's supposed to be better than the 200 ringgit China-made brand or OEM brand. Um, so, okay, let's let's unbox it. First thing is, where is the knife for this thing? <laughs> Okay, still struggling with the... Oh, here it is. Haha! Found it. Okay. This almost became an unboxing video of the uh, multi-tool. <laughs> Ooh, it's not bad. It's, the knife is quite nice and sharp. Okay, as all knives, let's put it away carefully, pointed away from everybody else. Right, first thing is a piece of cardboard, so that's good. A uh, set of screws. These look like the arms, and there should be two, and yes, there are two. Ooh, I can feel that there's a bit of cushion on, on on the armrest. Another piece of cardboard. Put that away. Is my camera on? It's on. Are you on? Yes, it's on. Also. Next up, wheel. We have one, two, three, four, five wheels. Okay. It seems the wheels are also quality wheels. That's what the website said. Then there's something inside here. Uh, I'm not sure what. Well, let's open it with our knife. Tunggu, tunggu. How do you open this thing? Lah? Oh. Let's try. Oh, the um, suspension arm. Oh, no. Well, there's a few, few more things inside there, but let's... Let's worry about that later. What I'm hoping to see is the manual. It's not how we're going to put this thing together, right? I'm not to say like the most uh, terror person in putting together things, okay? I still have a bit of a cry when I have to put together the stuff. Okay, this is the um, part that allows your chair to go up and down and back and forth I think and here comes the piece of resistance this is the back piece have a have a look see ah can't see it in the camera yeah like this but we'll uh, open it later let's just remove the box out of the way and this is the seat for my big butt right the rest are just foam and great I don't see any um, manual so how do you know which part goes where oh boy I suppose they think it's up to me to figure it out oh. this is great okay good news paprika found the manual for me you see this seat it's right behind the seat <laughs> okay so i suppose that's the first thing to open lah. let's get the knife out it's a good thing the kids are not here to help me because i'm holding a knife i'm gonna put it here lah, because i'm right-handed let's see oh tt racing 
Congratulations, you are the new owner of Kitty Racing Duo V3. Flip to the back to get started. Here we go. Okay, a whole bunch of the stuff that they sent to me. The first thing is, hang on, I need to get my reading glasses. Right. Have a look. What is this thing here? Attach the casters to the base by firmly pressing them into the holes under the base. What the caster? Insert the gas lift. Oh, okay. So the caster is probably probably the fancy word for the wheels. Because that's the only image I can see here. Right. Base and wheels. Moses, what do I do? Plunk, plunk it in. Uh, I suppose so. Oh, yep, went in. Alright. That one was a bit difficult. Okay, that's that done. Got the first part. Then it says, wait, let me read. Insert the gas lift and it looks like, like what? Uh, this is the gas lift, but which part is top and which part is bottom? Oh wait, there's a plastic back here. What does it look like? Does it look like it goes in like this? Or does it look like it goes in like this? Oh! Ho ho ho! It's quite clever! This part cannot go in like this. So it has to go in like this. And I didn't know that there is no... There's no like... Um, screw or lock to lock it on. So that means that the next time... This thing breaks, we just have to buy this thing and not the entire chair hmm okay because uh, many years ago I the the what do you call this thing the 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 the, the foot part of uh, my office chair broke and then when I went to look look for a spare part they said oh no you got to buy the entire chair I was thinking I really Only two of this thing. Just like that, isn't it? Would that be two? Let's see. I thought there were three parts to it. Weren't there? Weren't there three parts to it? Oh boy. <laughs> Am I missing a part? Okay, let's look first before. Oh! Tada! Told ya! I remember seeing three parts. What do you do now? Oh, like this. Okay, here we go. Right, number two. Attach the mechanisms to the bottom of the seat. What mechanism? Oh, oh, that, that, that thing. Okay, wait. You're supposed to attach this to the seat. Wait, wait, wait. hang on, hang on. Let's remove stuff here first okay so I'm gonna put all these things aside then we'll clear out the house I'm gonna guess that it's gonna go in like this under my butt because this thing should be on the right hand side right shouldn't it and this thing is in the front right yeah, it makes sense because if you do it this way and this thing is 
you you sit with, with facing this way, then this thing this part will be behind. Like what what would you put your hand behind to to unscrew this part, right? So you have to be this way. Okay, good. So let's just put it this way first. And then where's my seat? Oh, here we go. This seat. Okay. Okay, need to screw something. I'm not really the best screwer. But we're gonna get a screwdriver to help me screw. Okay, I'm back with three types of screwdrivers. Not sure which one I will need. Is it the flat head or the Phillips uh, head screwdriver? Okay, so now, ah, it's even labeled front. See that? Front. Which means that this thing goes on like this. And this thing, wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let's get out. Let's take out all the screws first. Where's that screw box? Spare part. So let's not. Hey, it's Allen School, huh? and they even give you an Allen School. See that? Okay. Now what do I do? Okay, let's read the instructions again. With the glasses this time, kind of like a screw with a washer, according to to the picture, as far as I can tell. G screws. And there should be four G screws. I can only see one set of screws here that says G. So I'm gonna say that it's, it's this it's this one. It's this one. But let, let's let's just double check and see what other screws are there. H screws? Okay, I see H screws. More H screws, then there's K. What K? Oh, K. Then what is this? F. Oh, I see F. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Opening this. What do I do? Uh? Like one of those pill boxes. Yeesh. Feel this thing off. No. You know what? I'm just gonna cut it open. Handy knife. Uh. Whoa! Nearly cut my own finger. <laughs> right. Front and hang on. This one also front. Yep. Come around. I think so. Yes, yes, hey, there is also a label that says front over here. Right, okay. The screws seem to be going in really, like really easily as if like there is already a nut on the other the other end and just have to line it up line it up properly okay Allen key Allen key is over here I'm just gonna try and back it out and see what happens will I bend it oh no oh no no yep got it Oop, 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 oop. What's going on? I hear. Oh yeah. You know why? <laughs> Forgot to put a washer. Duh. Uh, read instructions as well, still can forget. Right, removing the screws. Okay, setting it aside. Washers are this one here. 
can just use my fingernails. Yeah, you can just pierce it open with your fingernails. Uh. No need that knife. Man, man, nearly cut on hand. Okay, four washers. Is there a certain way you can put the washers in? Uh? Is, there, is there a top and a bottom? What do you, what do you think? Let's take a look. I can see a smooth part and a rough part, but I'm just going to assume that it's... It's like that lah. I'm just put, I'm just putting the rough part downward towards the base of the chair. Whoop whoop whoop! I think I just missed a thread there. That's not good. So I'm not gonna force it in. Just gonna try this screw with this nut. Yep, it's going in much better. Okay, back to new screw for this nut. Whoop whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. There's a bit of a resistance there. But no no. Just a bit of resistance. But never mind. Doesn't seem to be. Doesn't feel like it's as though I've uh, crossed threads. Okay. Uh, tightening the bolts in an X fashion that's what my dad taught me before he'll be so proud of me <laughs> okay just gonna tighten it finger tight because if you want to over tighten it I don't know how strong these screws are Just finger tight. That's all. Right hand is much better at gauging the finger tightness. Oh, oh. oh still can, still can tighten eh. Oh, that was pretty much done. Oh. Okay, double check. Front, front, yes. Right, on to the next one. Number three, attach the two armrests to the side of the seat cushion using four hitch screws. Do not over tighten the screws to better preserve the condition of the chair. Why would it better preserve the condition of the chair? If you over tighten it. But okay, never mind. We just follow what it says. Armrest. <laughs> How would you know which one is the front and which one is the back? Like, does it go this way or, or does it go this way? Oh wait, uh, hang on, there, there, there are screw holes here, so I'm going to assume this this will go to the back side of the, the, the back of the chair. Okay, so far everything is quite logical. Right then, that's the front. So therefore, hitch screws, hitch screws, um, these ones here, so I'm just going to use my fingernails and pierce it again. I'm just going to take out two, because <clears throat> that's what I need. Are there washers for this? Doesn't say. Hang on. This thing came off in my excitement. Okay. Screwing in the H screws. If I had a third arm, a third hand, that would be great. How do you, how can you see it? Okay. 
that have gone in. This one. So it says don't tighten it too tight. Okay. Why is it so loose all of a sudden? Uh oh. Doesn't feel quite right. Okay, I'm just, gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like it's not even finger tight. I'm just gonna leave it like that because later on I'm gonna put the the back in. I think I think that you might need to give it some play. I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Next side. Put in the other screw. Ish, my hand is in a weird angle right now. Ah! Damn it! Come on. Screw into the hole, man. Come on, get into the hole. Are you in? Are you screwing in? Are you not screwing in? Why are you not screwing in? Why aren't you screwing in? Am I am I getting the hole properly? Uh? Is it aligned with the hole? Oh 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 oh! No 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 no! Don't force it in. If not, it's gonna cross threads. Okay, finally screwed in. Right. Let's just tighten it a little bit. So it doesn't fall out. Oh, it's really loose. Yes, butter fingers. Okay. Can I just put it like this without damaging the chair? I wonder. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Looks okay. Right. On to the next step. Oh my god, my hair is like super duper long. Ooh, now we get to screw in the back. Hey, the back is only held by four screws attached to the arm. Is that strong enough or would it be strong enough to hold me when I'm leaning back? Holy moly. Well, just do what it says. It's supposed to have, I think, two years warranty. <clears throat> so if it breaks, I suppose, go and claim warranty lah. <laughs> they probably say, oh, you're too fat. That's why it broke. Ah, static electricity. This thing is just sticking on to me. Ooh, look at that. Quite cool, right? Look at that, quite cool, quite cool. Quite cool, quite cool. <laughs> now, how do we do this? How do I... How do I screw this on while holding on to so many things? Hang on. I'm going to put, put in two screws first. And then... There we go. <laughs> hey, went into the screw hole. First try. Wait, 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 wait. It's not aligned. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to do the other side as well. So that, so that this thing doesn't fall off. Left hand trying to screw something, trying to trying to screw something, but left hand is just not working. Yeah, right hand also not working. 
Oh, here we go. Wait, is it? Dang it. Wait, dang it. It's not good. Maybe it's going to cross track. Nope, it's not. It's just a little pipe going in. A little pipe going in. Ah. Oh. So many in here. I'm going to have to put this video as 18 and above only. I think maybe it's time to just tighten the, the arms properly but not too tight like so I'm just going to kind of tighten it like okay okay not even finger tight just as I feel a bit of resistance okay and this one like this 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 part of the, of the cushion it's touching the seat, the back part and the seat part, they meet somewhere here and it's pushing against each other. So you gotta like kind of like push it in a little bit just to screw the screws in. I'm actually holding a third screw in my hand. Okay, not tight, not tightening it all the way. Okay, let's just turn it over to this side and to the other side. Tightening the the bottom part, bottom fingers. Just tightening the bottom part first. A little. Oh, 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 it's too tight. Too tight. I think it needs a little bit of give so that you can fit the back back part onto the handle. Right. Okay. Gonna tighten this guy. Is it going in? Yep. Okay, not too tight, so that I can put the last screw in. How is it? Oh, no, no, no. Felt like it was going to cross threads. Oh, I think I have to loosen this part so that this guy can go in. What do I do now? Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay, now, now I know why it said not to uh, tighten it too tight first because you really need to adjust the seat and the arm at the same time. The seat and the arm. Okay, I guess now it's time to tighten everything tight, finger tight. Right? Is there anything else I need to do? Glasses on. Yep, I don't see anything else. Again, tightening, tightening it finger tight. Wow, still can tighten it. What about this one? Okay, what about this one? Oops, this is quite loose. Okay. A bit more. I'm gonna guess that inside this plastic arm is a metal piece. If not, I don't see how it can hold up it can hold up the back to the to the base or to to the to the seat part. I'm sure you'll break right if it's this plastic. I mean even tightening tightening it like this I I I so feeling it will just crack the plastic as well. So I'm I'm gonna guess that there is a metal piece left. Okay, that's turning it over. Oh, it's coming along, it's coming along. Okay, tightening this area now. Okay, got the arms in, the back, got the seat on, and now the last part says, glasses on. Attach the two halves of the chair together by inserting the gas lift into the mechanism. Really, that's all. Attach the side caps to the eight sides of the chair using the 4K side caps. 4K side cap. Right? Check that all screws are tight and enjoy your new chair. What if I just check the screws are tight now? Ooh, 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 this one. All the, all, the, all the screw under the arm. Okay, turning it around. Check the other side. 
Well, I, so far nothing is jiggling about, so I suppose I suppose it's all tight now. This one may be just plastic. There's, there's a screw right under this arm, but I have a feeling it's just plastic because I've been tightening it and it just doesn't seem to want to tighten. So I suppose better not tighten too much with, for fear of cracking the plastic. Right. Then, can this go into it? I suppose it's up to you now to capture this moment. Hang on. Get my glasses out of the way. Put this thing on. Where did you go to? Oh. Is that it? Is that, is that, is that it? Do I have to do anything else? Okay, let's test it out and see whether I've done it correctly. If it doesn't break under my weight, then I think I've done it correctly. If it does break under my weight, then I need to lose weight. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if uh, this thing. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. All right. And uh, going down. Ooh. Ooh, the lock. Oh, I see. Push it. Pushing, pushing this thing in inwards locks it. How many? How many? How many? Locks are there. So it's either upright or. Okay. What? There's only two. It's either upright or. Or lying down. Is it? Nope. Yeah, it's, it's either locked upright or not. There's no like degrees of. Incline. Well, what? What? Then what? What's this for then? This part. What is this for? What does it do? Hang on. Okay, I'm going to turn it and let's see if the chair. What does it do? Does it go back down or what? I kind of like unscrew it, like really, really unscrew it. Oh, oh, now it's kind of like really loose. Oh, 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 I think I've unscrewed it too much. Screw it back, screw it back. Ah, see, now it's tightened. What does it do? Okay, I've, I've kind of like screwed it finger tight. I don't know what it is. Maybe I have to ask someone who knows. Okay, first impression. Not bad. It's, I, I suppose it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, and I suppose it's not bad because it's still new. So I think you know the, all the sponges are still nice and firm. But once it gets a bit old and flabby, then nobody wants you anymore. You know. Yeah. And there's this weird part here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Can you see this? Wait, hang on. Can you see this part here? Yeah. I think that part there is to stop you from sliding off the chair because it's a leather chair. I heard that it's just PU leather, but it's supposed to be high quality PU leather. And I suppose you know if you. Um, polish the PU leather, you will actually slide off the chair, and I think that that part there um, stops you from sliding it, sliding off. Okay, over, overall it's it's pretty good. I don't think you'll be able to sleep on this. Oh wait, hang on, you can sleep on this thing, but just like that, 
it doesn't like go it doesn't like recline all the way so I suppose that's, that's okay I don't think you can sleep on this chair lah, but I suppose if you just had a bit of shut eye I, I, I'm, I, I think it's it's okay well that's the TT racing I don't know what chair TT racing what lah. duo something I remember anyway my new chair